I know that for some Avalon users, there has been some complaints about the after sales, the repair difficulty, but let's just leave it all behind and just take a look at how this model is actually working and we're gonna open it up and check the inside of it. Hello my friend, you are in Metalovan Repair Center. In this video, we're going to uh, take a look at the Canon Avalon 1346. It's now running and we can see that the rear set of fans are missing. They replaced it by a set of rear mesh exhaust and with the fans reduced, we can see the noise is also reduced. The decibels shows at 68 which is very quiet especially good for home mining and now let's go take a look at the power consumption about 3330 and let's go check the hash rates the real-time hash rate shows as 112 and the average shows at 110 which is running to the full hash rate looking great the temperature is about um, 74, 76. Compared with the old models, um, they usually got over 80, so this is a big improvement. For Avalon users, we know that for the older models, they don't really run to the full hash rate, but for this one, it's getting better. Uh, we saw that it ran 110. This is mainly because um, Avalon changed the chips. The reason is that they changed the chips from the previous SMIC chips to the, now the Samsung chips. Better chip, better stability, and better performance. And this is why the power ratio is reduced to about 30. All right, now we're gonna open the case up and show you the inside part. These are the wires connected to the fans. They still got four of them even though one set of fans are missing. Maybe it's because the fans are getting thicker for um, bigger air volumes. Okay, now let's open it up. Um, right here we can see the copper bars are thicker now. For better conductivity, you get smaller influence over the voltage change. And here is the control board. It's bigger, um, it doesn't do anything different. So that's the inside. In May this year, Canon is going to launch its new Avalon A1366 using TSMC chips, which will bring the hash rate up to 130 and bring down the power consumption ratio to only 25. In the future, Canon is going to use Samsung chips on its mainstream models. Um, giving them a stable performance and a low power consumption ratio. Uh, also reduce the old problems like uh, shipping damages or incapability of running to the full hash rate. And they will use TSMC chips on the flagship models. So I believe that in the new era of high hash rate, Avalon is going to win more popularity. This video is not an advice on investing or purchasing. This is just for your reference. We're just showing you our opinions, the performance of the miner. If you're an Avalon user, if you have this model, you can always come to us for free repair or maintenance advice. This is Meta Luban. I'm Kathy. I'll see you next time.